y'all and welcome to today's video. I am so excited and want to tell y'all happy Halloween. I hope you're having a fun day. If you do not celebrate Halloween, partake in Halloween, <laughs> observe Halloween, well, that's okay. I hope you're having a wonderful, awesome day. Today, we are going to play with some of the items from the Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice Collection. I'm excited. I bought the Makeup Revolution Coraline palette and was really pleasantly surprised with the quality. So I decided to pick up a few things from the Beetlejuice Collection. I've got the recently deceased highlighter palette, a little eyeshadow palette, I bought the sponge, eyeliner, mascara. We are going to play with these products and I'm going to be answering some Halloween questions. My dear friend, Karen Harris, did like a Halloween questions tag video. So I'm going to play with these products. We're going to get ready and I'm going to talk about Halloween. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here on my channel. We do not try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week, so I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today so that you don't miss out on any of my fun makeup content. But I'm ready to put some makeup on my face. I've got places to be today, people to see. So I want to get ready for the day. Happy Halloween. Let's jump into it. <music> Before we get into the questions, I do want to kind of show you the things I bought, show you swatches, those types of things. Makeup Revolution did a huge Beetlejuice collection and I didn't buy everything, but I bought a few things. Some of these things I actually found at my local Walmart, which I was surprised because they normally don't have Makeup Revolution. And then a few of these things I bought online. So I will say I bought the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice sponge. I did use it today. I don't love Makeup Revolution sponges. I think they're a little too like firm for me. I bought the mascara. Maybe we'll use this on the lower lashes today because it is a green mascara. I just, I saw it in my store, I couldn't pass it up. I also bought the Beetlejuice liquid liner. It's just a black liner. We'll play with that today. So what I wanna do is show you a close up of this palette, Handbook for the Recently Deceased Highlighter Palette. It's cute, yeah? I really, really like the packaging. It is the Handbook for the Recently Deceased. It even says it on the side. And I, I love the packaging. I bought this solely for the packaging. Now the inside, you already saw the close up. So let me show you swatches. Looks really cute. Swatch it out. It looks really pretty too. I wanted to go ahead and swatch it so I could kind of get a feel for the texture. And the inside says, go ahead, make my millennium. I think that's such a fun touch. Packaging, they did a great job. Now the palette I bought is the Beetlejuice Revolution pressed pigment palette. I don't see a specific name for it, but it has the house in purple and black. I'll show you a close up of the inside of the color story. I think this is a cute color story. Really, really pretty. Let me also show you swatches. I thought this swatched out really nice. I'm excited to see how it wears on the eyes. Swatches are fun, but they definitely don't tell the whole story. We do have a mix of mattes and shimmers in here. And then on the inside, we also have Beetlejuice there. Cute packaging. Now, before we do the look, let me just show you really quick. Because when I first got this, I was like, oh, is that going to be like my Coraline palette? And I don't do a lot of comparisons on my channel, but... I think these are different. This is definitely cool tone purples. This is definitely warm, pinky leaning purples. Even the silvers have different tones. So if you were like, are those the same like me? I was like, oh, they're kind of similar. They're actually not when I put them side by side. So hopefully that was helpful. You've seen all the swatches. You've seen everything. Let me prime my eyes. Let me zoom y'all in and nice and close. We'll answer some questions and we'll create an Okay, so I have the questions pulled up on my phone. We can answer them as we do the makeup look. But what we're going to do first is start off with this middle matte shade, this kind of like mid-tone purple. And then we're going to deepen up the outer corner with this deeper purple. So that's what I'm going to be 
doing first. And the first question is, what is the first palette you used in October? And I was trying to remember, I've been doing a lot of Halloween palette videos on my channel. And I kind of looked back through my videos and I think it was the new Shroud and Batty Bean collab. That palette is such a beautiful palette. Betty Jean did a great job creating it. Her and Shroud really, really did a great job. I think that's the first one, but honestly, I'm not sure. I i um, always changing up my makeup, so I couldn't quite remember, but I think it's that one. And then the second question is purple and green versus orange and black. Which color combination do you prefer, and is there a favorite eyeshadow palette that showcases the combination? And I have to say, it's hard for me to pick a favorite color combination. In general, my favorite color is green, but... When it comes to Halloween, my favorite, like, style, I guess, for Halloween is not really, like, the horror genre, not that so much as it is, like, the whimsical aspect. So, purple, green, orange, black all fit with that. I will say there have been so many amazing Halloween palette launches this year. I actually did a whole video just based on like the Halloween palettes in my collection and I've added even more since then. I've really really been enjoying the unearthly Halloween palettes that they launched. Um, I think the strange and unusual palette from Bella Beauty Bar. That one I absolutely love. I think like Sugar Drizzle has made some. So it's hard to, it's hard for me to play favorites because I have so many older palettes in my collection that I love for Halloween. But yeah, if you're looking for Halloween palette recommendations, I definitely recommend that you go watch that video that I posted <laughs> posted earlier this month. Okay, so far I think that this is performing well. I don't know that this is like the best eyeshadow I've ever used, but I've used two mattes so far and they've really done a good job. There we go. I'm having to build it up a little bit where I want it to layer, but that's fine. And I'm just blending. I used a Milk Cosmetics brush first. Now this is a BK Beauty brush, but let's look at question three. There are how many questions? 12. Question three, if you were a witch, who would you most want to be and why? And I have to say Maleficent. Oh, I would love to be Maleficent. Did y'all watch the Maleficent movies? I really enjoyed both of them, but I'm like, she's this stunningly beautiful fairy with like the coolest horns and wings and magical powers and abilities. And she's smart and funny and Ah, oh, yeah. Sign me up to be Maleficent. See, it's not building very well out here, so I'm just going to try to, like, press it in layers, and there we go. So, not, like, the easiest to work with, but definitely something I can work with. Okay, I'm just taking this Game Beauty brush to run that purple on the lower lash line. This is going to be a simple look. Nothing super complicated. I've got a bunch of things to do today, but one of those things is to have lunch with one of my besties. So I am really looking forward to that. But question number four says, if uh, sp favorite spooky sub genre, which is vampires, mummies, werewolves, etc. And I say, let's put them all together. <laughs> I really like anything. I just... I will say, when I watch movies, I watch movies to be entertained. I just like, I just entertain me. Normally, I go for like comedies, action, adventure type movies. So, if I had to pick witches, vampires, mummies, werewolves, I would say witches and vampires. Like, witches and vampires together. I'm here for it. I'm into it. If I have to pick, those are the ones I'm going with. 
Okay, I'm just using the clean end of this double-sided Sigma brush to kind of like buff and blend out these edges. But number five says, favorite spooky movie or book or show or character or franchise? And definitely for me, Hocus Pocus. I am one of the people that watched it as a kid and it's like, it's all the nostalgia for me. I think it's so fun. I love the original. I watch it every year, multiple times a year. I think the new one that they did was so cute. If you hated it, that's fine. I did not compare it to the original. I will say that like I went into it kind of fresh and I thought it was cute. I thought it was for kids today, you know, and that's one thing I think about the Hocus Pocus movies like they are kids movies. Of course, I love Adam's Family. I love, I love the new Adam's Family movies. They're doing the ones that are like animated films. I think they're so cute. And I think the underlying lesson in those movies is so cute. Again, they're kids movies, but especially the first Adam's Family, like the newer one, it's all about like being yourself, whatever that is. And I just love, love, love that. I definitely think we can use more of that. Um, so that has to be it. So spooky movie. Yeah. Um, books. I love the author and I, I like these books all always. Um, I, can't, I, I don't want to say her name wrong. I will put some of her books up on the screen. I will link, uh, to her down in the description box too. Jennifer Mac. Macoon, I want to say you see it on you see her name though. Um, I love her books. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now I want to go in with a shimmer, and what I think we'll do is we'll stick with this purpley shimmer here all over the lid, and then we'll highlight the inner corner with this kind of bluey purpley silver shade. I am gonna pick it up on my Sigma brush and I'm gonna spray my brush with a setting spray. Whatever setting spray you have laying around is fine. Okay, so number seven, what spooky collaboration person, franchise, or brand would you most want to see? Okay, so I don't know. I feel like so many things have been done. I would definitely love to see more from the Adams family. I would like to see I know that they've done a, like, um, Hip Dot has done a collab with them, but I would love to see even more. I definitely would love to see ColourPop or maybe an indie brand do something like that. I actually think Adept would make a, such a cool Adams Family collection because I think they could do some really interesting mattes and shimmers. I just think that could be really cool. Like, Adept could do... A cool toned palette. Oh, I love that. I think they could do a great Adams Family collab. Um, I would also really like to see a Hotel Transylvania collab. Why have we not gotten a Hotel Transylvania makeup collection yet? And maybe there is a brand that's done it and I just haven't seen it. But yeah, I, I think Hotel Transylvania is really, really cute too. Okay, I actually skipped a question. Number six was what eyeshadow palette or color combination would you where to best represent that favorite spooky movie, book, show, character, franchise. And uh, <laughs> I think I talked about Hocus Pocus. And I mean, I think ColourPop, you know, they've done three different palettes so far. I think this newest one is my favorite. I think they really captured like the whimsy of the show. I think it was really fun. Um, of course, I would love to see even more brands do that. But I, I've been saying, and I will continue to say, I would like either ColourPop or another brand to do three quads for the three different witches in Hocus Pocus. Like, it would just be so fun. I don't know why they haven't done three quads yet instead of just a big palette. I think that would be really fun. But, you know, maybe another brand will do that. Look, isn't this look coming together really pretty so far? I'm just going to wipe off that brush and go in with that inner corner highlight shade, just like this. I mean, this is an easy look, not overly complicated. It did take a little more work for me than if I had just grabbed one of my other palettes, but I mean, 
I'll also say that this palette was like 10 bucks or something like that. So I think it's cute so far. Let's do the black liner and we'll answer another question. All right, number eight, do you have a current favorite spooky Halloween decor, clothing, jewelry item that you love right now? I, I have to say I love my shirt that I bought from Amanda, who is makeup just for fun. Her Etsy shop, y'all have seen me wear that shirt. I think I bought it a few years ago, actually, when she put them on Etsy. I'll link it down below, but it's just a gray t-shirt. And on like, well, you can't see, but on the pocket, it says, um, like it has a candle and it has Binks and it's basically like, you know, I love Binks. It's really, really cute. I've had that shirt for years. Again, I can put it in the description box for y'all, but it's, it's the Etsy shop owned by Makeup Just For Fun. And I forget what her shop is called. It's, it's something like Just For Fun. And it's really, really adorable. It's not expensive. And like I said, I've had it for years. I just really, really enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to finish up this liner. I will say I prefer brush tip liners instead of felt tip liners when it comes to liquid liners. But this one is nice. Like it's gliding on easily. It's not giving me a problem. But I also knew when I bought it that it wasn't like a brush tip. So I knew it wasn't going to be my personal preference. But I thought it would be fun to try because I've never tried a Makeup Revolution liner. But so far so good. So let me do my mascara. I don't know if I'm going to use this green mascara or not. I don't know if it's going to fit in with our look. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back and we'll do the highlighter palette together and we have um yeah, four more questions to answer. Okay, here are the lashes and the look. I did put a little tiny bit of the green mascara on the lower lashes. It's very subtle, <laughs> but it's very subtle. I want to use this highlighter palette. These are Kiss Ruffle lashes that I like cut in half. So they're like half lashes that I made myself by cutting. So we're gonna use the handbook for the recently deceased palette. This I think will be pretty over blush. I mean, I know it's made for deeper skin, but I think it'd be pretty over blush eventually. But today I'm actually just gonna mix these two and we have some more questions. I'm gonna use this Sigma E61 brush. Um, so let's see, question number nine, favorite Halloween costume you wore and why? I uh, don't usually dress up for Halloween and it's not because I wouldn't like to or I don't think it's fun. It's just that I, I never want to allot money to my costume. Like I do have a kid. <laughs> so I always buy them a costume and um, things like that. And then I usually buy a ton of candy for trick-or-treaters and like I just never want to spend the money on myself a costume. I usually will like wear a Halloween t-shirt that I already have or something like that or a costume that I can like make from home. Like one time I was Lois Lane and I did buy myself like a $10 short dark Amazon wig and I put on like a pencil skirt that I already had and I put on like a button up shirt that I already had and I carried like a little notebook. And then my husband had a Superman t-shirt and he like wore that and he put on a button up over with a tie and he like wore it open and he was Clark Kent slash Superman. So I know that's not fun. Um, <laughs> but I just never wanna spend the money on myself a costume when I'm already buying costumes for my kid and tons of candy and pumpkins and everything else that the season could cost. I would rather spend costume money on a Halloween palette, honestly. <laughs> so that's what I do. I usually, when I have bought myself things to wear for Halloween, they have never been like expensive things. They've been like DIY costumes. I'm just pressing this highlighter in with the clean side of my damp sponge because I felt like it was really pretty, but I felt like it was just sitting on top of the skin and I don't like that look. So I'm actually gonna take like a little bit of 
my setting spray. This is just an Urban Decay one. I'm gonna respray the bottom of my highlighter and I'm gonna press this in some more because I, it's a very sparkly. It's very pretty. It's very glowy. I just want it to be in my skin. So if you ever have a highlighter that's like, this is really pretty, but it just looks like a layer on top of my skin, just bounce it in with your sponge for a minute or two and it's gonna look better. See, that already looks so much better to me. Okay, so not my favorite highlighter formula, but definitely my favorite packaging and I can make it work. I can make it work. Let's do these last few questions. Costume you've always wanted to wear but never have. I don't have any. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think like that. It's more, for me, like, for me, I'm more about, like, the kids. I love giving out trick-or-treat candy and stuff. So, that's not something I really think about. Um, favorite Halloween treat? Everything. Usually on Halloween, it's kind of like open invitation to my friends, to my kids' friends, to our house. You want to come over? I'll have chili. I'll have pumpkin pie. I usually have pigs in a blanket. I'm vegetarian. So, I always make vegetarian chili. And then I have, like, meat on the side. So, you can add the meat to the chili if you want. And candy, cupcakes, those types of things. I recently had caramel M&Ms and they were amazing. So amazing. Okay. Uh, any other spooky recommendations this season? We love, like, all month long we've been watching Halloween movies. We've watched The Craft, Warms My Blood, all the Scream movies, what are other five Scream movies? We've watched all of those. We've watched Beetlejuice multiple times. We've watched the Addams Family series multiple times, the old ones and the new ones. Um, Interview with the Vampire. <sighs> Sabrina, the Netflix series. I like that. That's not, it's a little too mature for my kids. So that's just me and my husband will watch that. All like, I love it. I don't love horror movies. I like Halloween-y, fun, spooky movies. Haunted Mansion was good. We watched The Curse of Bridge Hollow. It's new on Netflix. Really enjoyed that. Watched Hocus Pocus multiple times and part two multiple times. I'm just trying, there's just so many I love. Like, I love, <laughs> love, love halloween -y movies. It's so fun. I was trying to think, like, of some of the other ones. I mean, yeah, it, as long as it's not a horror movie, we've watched it a ton. And I don't consider, like, Scream to be a horror movie. I know what you did last summer. I love that. Um, the Skulls, I love that. Anything like that, I love. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed answering these questions. I will link Karen's original video down in the comments because she did a look with the Dark Fantasy palette from Beauty Bay in her video. It was really good. I really enjoyed hearing her answers and seeing her kind of Halloween-y look. She did more of like a green blue look. So you'll definitely have to check it out. My first impressions on the collection, I'm actually going to use this. My kid needs to have green hair for Halloween. So I might use this for like flyaways. So I'm actually kind of glad I have this. The liquid liner I'll continue to use. The highlighter palette I'll continue to use. I think it looks really pretty now that it's on the skin, but I definitely want to play with it more. For me, I'm going to use it I'll follow up a review for y'all. I do always follow up reviews because sometimes I change my mind after I've played with the palette more. So definitely subscribe, but this will be displayed somewhere. I think it's so fun. This is really cute and I think the eye look is pretty. I think this is a really nice quality palette. If you have the Coraline palette and you liked it, I think the quality in this is the same. Much better quality than that huge Game of Thrones monster palette that I bought, but I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. I'm going to lunch with my friend. I've got other things to do today. Happy Halloween, and I will see y'all very soon in another video. Bye.